Okay, now that you understand the interface of numbers and you kind of know your way around it, numbers, you might start to notice that this toolbar has some tools that you don't really use every day. And you might also wish that there were some tools that you do use often that were up here in the toolbar. Well, luckily the toolbar is customizable, and that's what we're here to talk about today. We can adjust this toolbar, both the view and how it looks, as well as the actual icons and tools within it. To do any of these, simply click, right click on the toolbar, anywhere in the toolbar, and a little menu comes up. Now these first three options are to adjust the view. Currently it's set to icon and text. So here we see the icon with the text underneath. We can also adjust to see just the icon, just the text, or go back to our default. This is what I prefer. If you need a little bit more space for your toolbar, you can also use the small size. It'll make the icons a little bit smaller to save some space. And click it again to go back to your normal size. To customize the toolbar, such as the actual tools within the toolbar, come down to Customize Toolbar. Now when we do this, it pulls up our window here of available options. As well, it makes the toolbar up here adjustable. By adjustable, I mean you can drag any of these icons here anywhere you want on the toolbar. You can see how we can put, move this around any way that we like. We can move a whole category or group of icons to another place on the toolbar. Or we can drag or remove individual items. Even the spaces like this are adjustable. Simply drag the space where you want and you can completely reorder the list as you see here. To remove an item, simply drag the item that you want off of the toolbar and let go. You can also do this with spaces as well. So the whole toolbar here is adjustable. You can add new icons by dra dragging an icon down here up onto the toolbar. As you move this around, all the other icons adjust to fit your needs. So there you go, now you've kind of adjusted the toolbar as you like. Remember that all of these are adjustable. You can move them anywhere you want in the toolbar. Now to add spaces like you see here, we do that by adding these icons down here. There's a space as well as a flexible space. Now space is a static space. You can see that it will always be this size. Now if I remove some icons, you can see how these spaces are getting larger whereas this space stays the same. That's because these are flexible spaces, as we see here. Flexible spaces will get larger as more space becomes available, and smaller as more icons are added and less space becomes available. Normal spaces stay the same no matter what. You can also add multiple spaces to make it larger, and then remove them to make it smaller but these always stay the same versus flexible spaces will change. Another great way to separate groups of icons is to add a separator. A separator is a great way to separate items without adding very much space. So here we've, at, we've separated these two groups of icons by taking up very little space and adding this nice unobstructive icon here. So this nice little line separates these very well. Now if at any point we want to use the default toolbar, we can simply come down here to the bottom and drag the default toolbar up over the other icons that we have and our default toolbar will be restored. When we're done adjusting our toolbar, come down here to done, click it, and now your toolbar is saved.